what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to save a copy of this as a PDF I'm gonna do like let's call it let's call it three circles three circles PDF save save and I'm gonna go into that file and open that in Acrobat. Okay, right now you don't you don't really see you can see the opacity going on, but you don't really see the overprinting. I don't think that that looks that doesn't look quite what it does here. Because overprinting, it's not it's not the default view. So for us to see the overprinting, we're gonna need to go to View, Tools, Print Production, and we're I think it's Output Preview and Simulate Overprinting. And as if I took out the process plate, so if I took out CMYK. It shouldn't make a difference if you're if you did it right because you're only using these three colors, these three spot colors. So now I've done simulate overprinting. So this is what it's gonna look like once all the overprinting is visible. So that's how you can check out if your overprinting is working in Acrobat. So how do we print out separations for this? We're going to go to File and Print. And I'm going to go to Advanced. And under Output, Color, there's Separations. And I'm going to turn off C, M, Y, and K. Only, I'm going to print separations out only for the, these three Pantone colors or these three riso colors with their pantone equivalents i'm gonna hit ok and i'm gonna hit print and i think it's asking me where to save it to so i'm gonna go three circles separations and save All right, so let's take a look at what we're gonna be giving the printer or what the screens are gonna look like. Well, this is the screen for Pantone 305U. Okay, so this is the screen for blue. So if you, we go back to Adobe Illustrator, that's gonna be the screen for blue. So when this is run through the machine, that's where the blue is gonna print. Here are your registration marks, the crosshairs. This is the screen for pink. So this is this is where the pink is going to go. And as you can see, we have knockout on this pink stroke. So that pink stroke right here is getting knocked out by by that blue that we saw earlier up here. And lastly, this is the screen for orange. Right there. There's a knockout right there for the blue. And it's showing us as well the opacities. So if this were pure orange, 100% opacity orange, then it would be black. It would be black like this which is what the blue is, the blue's level is at, it's at 100 level opacity. But because our orange is not at 100%, this orange is at 70% opacity right there. It's not, it's not black, it's, oops, what, I don't know what I did. It's, uh, um, it's, it's this kind of grayish almost it's like a dark gray because it's at 70 percent so that's how these work and this is um what we're going to be providing to the printer and you'll probably use this also in screen printing 
so it's pretty useful information. I think that's pretty much it for the training for now. I'm going to separate out the Photoshop training because this video is getting long, but I hope that was helpful and thank you so much for your time and let us know if you have any questions at all.